We're starting with our feet together at the top of the mat. Roll those shoulders back, tuck the tailbone in, belly button's engaged. Chin is level to the ground. We're going to just close our eyes and arrive on the mat. Just become present. Start getting that breathing going in and out through the nose. and expanding right down into the belly, to the depths of that torso. Dropping the chin down, chin to chest, flattening the eyes open. As we raise our head up, we're gonna inhale, reach the arms out to the side and up overhead. Place the palms together, pull the arms back behind the ears, and squeeze the bum forward so the hips are pressing to the front of the mat. And as you exhale, swan diving down, folding forwards. We tuck the tailbone, roll straight up. One vertebra at a time, squeezing into those lower abdominals. Head is the last thing to come up and roll those shoulders back. Inhale, reach the arms out to the side, up overhead. Palms to touch, pull the arms back behind the ears, squeeze the bum forward. And exhale, swan diving down. Chin tucks in, looking towards those legs. And tuck the tailbone, rolling all the way up. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale, reach the arms out to the side. Up overhead, palms to touch. Pull the arms back behind the ears. Squeeze the hips together. Or squeeze the bum, hips press forward. And exhale, fold forwards. Looking towards those legs, tucking the chin in. And then rolling up one vertebra at a time. And one last one. Inhale, reach the arms out to the side, up overhead, palms to touch. Pull the arms back behind the ears, tuck the tailbone, press the hips forward. And exhale, swan diving down, folding forwards, tucking the chin in. And then we're going to inhale, lift the chest up, slide the hands up the shins to a tabletop position. Really gently just waking up those hamstrings and then folding forwards. Bending the knees, tucking the fingers under the toes. So, yep, we're basically just holding the toes, holding the feet with the knees bent. Chin is still tucked in. We're gently gonna straighten out the legs as much as possible, and then bend the knees. So you wanna keep those hands around the feet, and try and keep your tummy on the thighs. As you exhale, straighten out the legs, and inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten, inhale, bend, exhale, straighten, inhale, bend, and last one, exhale, straighten, and inhale, bend. Keeping those knees bent, placing the hands on the floor, right foot steps back and left foot steps back to a plank. Shoulders over wrists. Just gently waking up the core. If you'd like to drop the knees for your first plank, that's fine. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Then dropping the knees, lowering chin and chest to the ground, all the way onto your tummy. We're gonna inhale, lift the chest away from the floor, squeeze the shoulder blades together, baby cobra. And release, hands down to the ground, tuck the toes, push the hips back towards the heels, stretching out those arms, stretching out the soles of the feet. Just take a couple of breaths there. We're going to inhale, lift the hips up to the sky, sink the heels down, straightening out the legs into your first downwards facing dog. And then gently just walking out the feet, dropping one heel at a time, straightening, stretching into those hamstrings. Keeping those shoulders relaxed. Pressing the arms overhead, working into that upper back. And then sinking both heels down to the ground. Inhale, lift up onto those toes, take a deep breath in, tuck the tailbone as you round the body and shift forwards into a plank. Shoulders move over the wrists. Adjust those shoulders away from the ears and think about extending the chest to the front of the mat. 
so that you're not rounded into that upper back, closing in on yourself. Take a deep breath in and press the arms overhead as you lift the hips up to the sky, sink the heels down. Dropping out of those shoulders. Inhale, lifting up onto the toes, tucking the tailbone round into the body as you curl the tummy tight, shifting forwards to plank. Strong shoulders. And press back, downwards facing dog. Lift the hips up to the sky. And last one, lifting up onto your toes, tuck tailbone, tummy tight, roll forwards to plank. And then lift the hips up, press back, downwards facing dog. Walking the feet to the front of the mat, bending the knees if you have to. Keeping the hands connected to the floor. Tucking the chin in, wrap or tucking the fingers underneath those toes, bend the knees, connect the tummy to the thighs and straighten out the legs. And bend and straighten, keeping the chin tucked in so you're looking right towards the legs. And straighten, bend and straighten. And last one, bend and straighten. As you straighten out those legs, we inhale, reverse one love all the way up. Palms to touch. And let's bring the hands down to heart center. Tailbone is tucked, tummy is tight. Deep breath in, reach the arms up, pull them back behind the ears and exhale, swan diving down, folding forwards. Inhale, halfway lift, straightening out the spine, sliding the fingers up the shins. And exhale, folding forwards, bend the knees, place the hands on the floor. Left foot steps back, right foot steps back to plank, adjust the shoulders away from the ears. Lowering knees, chest and chin or full chaturanga if you're warm and ready. Inhale. Lift the chest away from the ground, squeezing those shoulders together, opening up the chest, tuck the elbows down towards the hips, squeezing into those back muscles. And exhale, folding forwards, hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, push the hips back towards the heels, stretching out those arms. And then lift the hips up, downwards facing dog. We're going to Press the heels down, straightening out the legs, lift the tailbone, press the arms overhead, sending the crown of the head towards the floor, melting tummy towards the thighs. <clears throat> and then we're going to walk forwards to the front of the mat. And just hang out in your standing forward fold, tucking the chin in, looking towards those legs, allow the arms to hang heavy towards the floor. Tuck the tailbone, round the body up, one vertebra at a time, keeping the chin tucked in. Head is the last thing to come up to standing. And roll those shoulders open, tucking tailbone, abs engaged. Inhale, reach the arms out to the sides, up overhead. Palms together, pull the arms back behind the ears and exhale, folding forwards, swooping the arms down to the ground. Bend the knees, placing the hands on the floor, right foot steps back. Drop the right knee down to the floor, Reach the arms forwards and up as you sink into your low lunge. Palms together, let's interlace the fingers, index fingers pointing up to the sky, pulling the arms gently back behind the ears and softly sinking the pelvis towards the floor. So it's pretty active, we're not overstretching anything just yet. We're supported strong through that left leg, left knee is directly above left ankle. And exhale, folding forwards. One hand either side of that front foot, tuck the toes, lift the knee. We step back to plank. Shoulders over wrists, adjust the shoulders away from the ears and then think about sending the shoulders forwards by pressing through the toes. Lowering knees, chest and chin or full chaturanga down to the ground. Untuck those toes. Let's press straight up for cobra, but nice and gentle. So you're squeezing those shoulder blades together, glutes are relaxed, roll the shoulders open so the chest is open to face in front of you. Oh, I'm seeing some nice improvements there this morning. We're getting a better lift, hopefully with no back pain. 
tuck the toes, push the hips back towards the heels, stretching out those arms, really lengthening down into the rib cage. And then lift the hips up, sink the heels down, arms are pressed overhead for your downwards facing dog, straightening out the legs, lifting that tailbone to the sky. We're going to lift the right leg up towards the ceiling, keeping the hips square towards the mat. We're not rotating open, not just yet. Lifting up onto the left toes, we bring the right knee to chest and step the foot between the hands at the front of the mat. So right foot steps forward, drop the left knee down to the ground, unflip the toes, reach the arms forwards and up, palms to touch, interlace the fingers, index fingers are pointing up to the sky and pull the arms back behind the ears sinking the pelvis down to the ground. Tummy is still engaged. And folding forwards, one hand either side of the front foot, tuck the left toes under, lift the knee and step to the front of the mat. Inhale, reverse swan dive all the way up. Palms to touch and down to heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up, pull the arms back behind the ears. Exhale, folding forward, swan diving down. Inhale, halfway lift to tabletop, straightening out the spine. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, tailbone lifts. Exhale, folding forwards, bend the knees, place the hands on the ground. Left foot steps back. We drop the left heel down to 45 degrees, press through that right leg, reach the arms up, warrior one. Keep the hips square. Shoulders are down away from the ears, tailbone is tucked, working into the outside edge of that left foot. Right knees directly above right ankle. Placing palms together, bringing the hands down to heart center, we swivel open to warrior two. Right hand extends to the front of the mat, left hand extends to the back of the mat, shoulders drop down away from the ears, tailbone tucks, engaging into those lower abs. Right knee squeezes open, you're using your right bum to squeeze it, opening up that hip. Gazes over the right middle finger towards the front side of the mat. Cartwheeling the arms forward, one arm either side of the front foot, roll onto the ball of the back foot, step back to a plank. Shoulders over wrists. And you're breathing into your plank. Tummy's engaged. Lowering knees, chin and chest, or full chaturanga down to the ground. Press up for full cobra. Trying to keep the pelvis connected, roll the shoulders back, extend those elbows while still keeping them bent, and slide those shoulder blades down towards your bum. Glutes are relaxed. Think about pulling your belly button away from the floor, which activates into the lower abdominals, protecting the spine. Tucking the, tail, uh, tucking the toes, we're going to lift straight up into our downwards facing dog. Heels sink to the ground, hips lifted to the sky, straightening out those legs. Arms pressing overhead. Left foot lifts up towards the ceiling, keeping those hips square. So try not to rotate them open, but you're lifting straight out of that glute. Lifting up onto your right toes, bring your left knee in towards your chest and step the foot to the front of the mat. Left knee is directly above left ankle. Drop the right foot down 45 degrees, we press through that front leg, reach the arms up, warrior one on the other side. So that left foot is forward, right leg is extended but keep the hips closed to the front edge of the mat so we get a big opening through that hip. Palms together, down to heart center, we swivel open to warrior two. Extending left hand to the front of the mat, right hand to the back of the mat. Shoulders are down away from the ears. Being sure not to lean forward towards that left leg, but keep the body centered between both legs. Gazes over that left middle finger.
We cartwheel down either side of the front foot, roll onto the ball of the back foot and step to the front of the mat. Folded forwards. Tucking the chin and allow the arms to hang heavy to the floor. We're just going to sway gently from side to side. Working into those hammies, working into those hips. And then coming to rest in the middle. We're going to brush the fingertips along the floor, sink the hips down into your chair, reach the arms forwards and up, pulling the arms back behind the ears. So we're active through that upper back. Pulling the knees back behind the toes so the glutes are supporting you. Squat it nice and low. And exhale, swan diving, folding forwards, looking towards those knees. Inhale, halfway lift, straightening out the spine. Exhale, folding forwards, bend the knees, place the hands to the ground, right foot steps back. Right hand underneath right shoulder, left knee directly above left ankle, left arm reaches up to the sky. We're going to try this out again, supporting the right hand underneath the shoulder. Drop the right heel down to the outside and step the left foot on top for a side plank. Roll forwards into your front plank, left hand to the ground, feet swivel onto the toes. We're going to drop the heels over to the left hand side, right arm reaches up to the sky. Beautiful. And then let's try to take that right foot to the top of the mat. So swing it right up next to the left hand and then swiveling onto the left toes. So we're in that twisted high lunge but with the other leg at the front. Place the right hand to the outside of the foot. Let's step back into a plank. Shoulders over wrists. Lowering knees, chest and chin or full chaturanga down. Press up to cobra. Elbows tucked in, roll the shoulders back. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, press the arms overhead. Downwards facing dog. Dropping out of those shoulders, give your neck some room to breathe. We're going to place the weight into the right hand, press the right hand into the floor as the left hand reaches for the right ankle. The more you press, the more you lift the hips, the more of a stretch you'll get through those um, hamstrings and activation into that upper back. Release the left arm to the front of the mat, back to your down facing dog, placing the weight into the left hand and right hand reaches across for the left ankle. Sinking the heels down, still stretching out those hammies. And release the arm to the front of the mat. We're going to lift the heels up off the ground. Tightening the tummy, roll forwards into a plank. Shoulders over the wrists. Tailbone is tucked, making sure your lower back is not collapsing down to the ground. But pull the belly button away from the floor. Arms are nice and warm, I hope. We lower knees, chest and chin, or full chaturanga down, all the way onto your tummy. So we're going to stretch those arms out in front of us. Turn the palms in to face one another. Thumbs are up to the sky. Ch <clears throat> excuse me. Chin is tucked in, so your nose is pointing towards the floor, and your neck muscles are not working to lift the head. We're just going to lift the arms. So you want to keep the elbows as straight as possible and lift the arms straight up off the ground and back down. If you're up, if you're up for the challenge and you can manage that movement, 
then try avoid touching the ground in between each rep. But if you have to rest in between each rep, that's also fine. But we're going to do 20 lifts. So deep breath in and lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and relax. Taking the right hand, crossing it underneath the body, so the right hand is parallel to the short edge of the mat. The closer you get it underneath you, the more the back extension you'll get. Bend the left leg, reach the, right, uh, the left hand around to grab the top of the foot and press the heel alongside the hip. So it's a big quad stretch, squeezing the hips in towards the floor. If you can't, if you're not getting much of a stretch by pulling the heel directly in towards the glute, think about pulling it alongside that hip. Ideally, you want your hand on top of the foot, on top of the top of the foot and elbows twisted up to the sky which gives you a nice stretch gives you a nice stretch across the um, the shoulder and the pec into the pecs and we're also scoring a bit of a, a twist here through the spine as well releasing the foot down left arm crosses over right leg bends Reach the right hand around to grab the top of the foot and press the heel alongside the body. Remember, the closer you get your elbow underneath you, the higher you'll lift, the more leverage you'll get. Ideally, you'd like more of a pressing sensation as opposed to just a pulling sensation. The pressing tends to give a bigger stretch. and releasing the foot down to the ground. We're gonna lower the chest down onto the floor once more. Send the hands next to the hips, palms facing towards the hips. I'm gonna do some back extensions. So you wanna pull the fingertips down the thighs towards the, the toes. And we're gonna lift the chin and chest off the ground and rotate the palms to face the floor and then away from you so the thumbs are up to the sky and then allow the body to come back down, winding those hands back in. So we inhale, rotate, squeeze into the back, and exhale, lower the body down. Inhale, rotate and squeeze. Exhale, down. Try to keep the heels apart if you feel like you're taking strain in the back. Inhale, squeeze number three, and down, four, and down, five, down, six, down, seven, you should feel a burn in the back of the arms, eight, nine, and ten, and down, hands underneath the shoulders, tuck those toes, push the hips Back towards the heels, stretching out those arms, stretching out the soles of the feet. And then lift the hips up, downwards facing dog, sinking the heels to the floor, arms press overhead. Shoulders should be nice and awake by now. We're going to walk the feet to the front of the mat. Feet to the hands, feet are together. We're going to brush the fingertips along the floor, reach the arms forwards and up, sinking into your chair. And then reach the arms around the back, interlacing the fingers, getting the palms to touch, Roll those shoulders open, pull the elbows straight, and then folding forward, straightening out the legs, pulling the arms overhead. Chin is tucked in, looking towards those legs, and pull through the shoulders. And 
and release the hands down, allowing them to fall towards the floor. Bend the knees, hands to the ground. Left foot steps back. Drop the left heel down to 45 degrees. We're going to cartwheel straight up to warrior two. Right knee is squeezed open, shoulders are down away from the ears. We're going to take a deep breath in, reach the arms up, straightening out that right leg into a sort of triangle and exhale, lunge it down, arms press towards parallel. Inhale, straighten right leg, reach the arms up towards the sky and exhale, lunge it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale down, inhale lift, exhale down, inhale lift, and down, lift, and down. We're going to do two more, lift, and down, and lift, and down. Adjust the shoulders away from the ears. We're going to cartwheel down either side of the front foot. Roll onto the ball of the back foot, step back to your plank. Shoulders are over the wrists. We're going to do a push up hold. So if you can keep the knees off the ground, please do so. Otherwise, dropping the knees to the floor, making sure your core is nice and engaged. And we're going to lower the chin and chest to hover just above the ground, sort of a 90 degree angle. Okay, so lower it down, we hold for five, four, three, two, one, and lower the body all the way flat to the floor. We're going to stretch the right arm out in line with the shoulder, capital T position, left hand is just next to the chest, left leg reaches up as high as it can go, we roll over onto that right shoulder and place the left foot behind the right leg, draw the left knee up towards the ceiling and you can use your left hand to help you press more open. Rolling back through the middle onto your tummy, left arm extends, right hand under shoulder, left, uh, right leg lifts up and roll onto the Left hand shoulder, placing the right foot behind the left knee or left thigh, Ro stretching out the shoulder, twisting into the back, and really think about opening up that knee towards the ceiling. And rolling back onto your tummy, hands underneath the shoulders, Tuck the toes, push the hips back, untuck the toes, opening up the knees and sink back into your child's pose. So we're going to walk the hands over to the left hand side, arms extended across to that 10 to 10 position, but still keeping the hips pulling back towards the heels. So right arm really reaches away. And then walk over to the left hand side, uh, right hand side to 10 past 2, tummies on the right thigh, keeping the hips pulling back, especially to the left heel. Walking the hands back to the centre, we lift the hips, tuck the toes and press the arms overhead for your downwards facing dog. Hips are up to the ceiling. We're going to twist those elbows to point towards the toes and then slowly lower the elbows to the ground, to your dolphin. So forearms are on the floor, hips are still pulling up towards the ceiling. Then we're going to shift the shoulders forwards, walking the toes back as needed into your plank on your elbows. A 
And then whilst we're here, let's just do some hip taps rocking side to side. So the right hip's going to tap to the right hand side, draw it up and over to the left hand side and draw it up. Three, four, five, six, feel it in the waist, seven, and the shoulders, eight, nine, ten, and hold in your plank. Ten was probably too easy. Next time we'll do more. Lift the hips up, back to your dolphin, walk the feet towards you so we can sink the heels down. So we get a nice stretch through those hammies, through the calves. And then you can shift the weight, place the left hand on the ground and the right hand on the ground to a downwards facing dog and walk the hands, feet to the top of the mat. Feet walk to your hands. Chin is tucked in. Inhale, brush the fingertips along the ground, reach the arms forwards and up into your chair. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, folding forwards, float the arms around the back, interlace the fingers. Palms together, roll the shoulders open, straightening out the elbows and pull the arms overhead. Tucking the chin in towards the chest, which gives you more room to stretch into those shoulders. Try as much as possible to get the palms to touch. And release the arms down towards the ground. Bend the knees, placing the hands on the floor. Uh, right foot steps back. Drop the right heel down to 45 degrees. We cartwheel up to warrior two. Left knee is directly above left ankle. Squeezing it open so it's going in the same direction as the left toes. We inhale, reach the arms up, straightening out the leg. And exhale, lunge. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lunge. Inhale, float those arms up and press them down and try and get some power going through those arms so they're not just floating but you're pressing squeezing the hands together and then pumping the air down with power five and down four and down three down two down and one, and down. Maybe you felt those shoulders burning a little bit more now that we're putting in some effort into those arms. Tailbone is tucked. We cartwheel down either side of the front foot. Roll onto the ball of the back foot. Let's step back to a plank, shoulders over wrists. These poor shoulders. Keeping the shoulders forwards towards the fingertips. If you need to drop the knees, you can. We're gonna lower down to a hover, final hover. Who needs push-ups? Chest hovering just above the ground for three, two, one, and flat to the floor. Untuck those toes. Hands next to the chest. We press up for Cobra. Tucking the toes, press the hips back to your sort of child's pose, stretching out the soles of the feet. And then lift the hips up to your downwards facing dog. Right leg lifts up towards the ceiling. We're going to lift up onto our left toes, shift forwards to plank, take right knee to right elbow. And then kick it back up, three-legged down dog. Shift forwards, right knee to left elbow. We're crossing over the body. And back up, down dog. And forwards, this time we come to center and we hold in center. We lower the knee to the floor. Tuck it up to the chest for five, four, three, two, one. Kick it back up, three-legged down dog. And place the foot down on the mat. Walking the toes together, opening up the knees to the outside edge of the mat. Unflip the toes and sink the hips down. Catching your breath. 
sending all that good healing oxygen to those shoulders. Shifting the weight forwards into the hand, tuck the toes, lift the hips, straightening out the legs. Last little bit of hard work. Left leg lifts up, point the toes towards the ceiling. We lift up onto our right toes, shift forwards, left knee to left elbow in your plank, squeeze it up as high as you can. And then kick back, three-legged down dog. Shift forwards to plank, cross over to right elbow. And kick back, three-legged down dog. And then we come through to center, shoulders over wrists, and hold. We lower the knee down to the ground and squeeze it up for five. Tap, four, tap, three, tap, two, tap, one. Kick it back up, three-legged down dog. And then place the foot down on the ground. Feet are hip distance apart. We lift up onto our toes. The knees are going to come straight forwards into your box position. Hips directly under the knees. Untuck those toes. We're going to send the arms forwards into your puppy pose. Chest to the ground, hips to the sky. Stretching into those arms. Allow the chest to melt towards the floor. We're going to take the right arm, threading it underneath the left armpit, come into line your right shoulder, right ear, and then left arm reaches up and around the lower back, using your right arm as leverage to twist you open so your chest twists towards the ceiling. Extending the left arm out. Right arm stretches ahead of you, and left arm threads underneath the right armpit. Right arm reaches up and around into the small of the lower back, using the left arm as leverage to stack those shoulders to opening up the chest. Right arm extends, left arm extends. We walk the hands towards you, grab a seat, and extend those legs out ahead of you. You can shift your bum to the center of the mat. Legs are straight. We reach the arms around the back, interlace the fingers, roll the shoulders back, and then lift the hands away from the bum, opening up the chest. Beautiful. Just feel how it changes that hamstring, that passive hamstring stretch. And release those hands, hands either side of the legs. We fold forward, stretching out those hammies. Chin is tucked in. So the neck is neutral. Slowly rolling up, extending the arms out ahead of you, dropping those shoulders. We tuck that tailbone, activating into those abdominals, and we curl down all the way to the floor. Lying flat on your back. Palms are facing up towards the ceiling. Bring the heels in towards the bum. Feet are hip distance apart. We tuck the tailbone. We roll up one vertebra at a time, just doing five pelvic curls to release the spine and roll down. Tuck tailbone, roll it up and roll it back down. Tuck the tailbone, roll it up, squeezing through those glutes, rolling down one vertebra at a time from the rib cage. Tuck and squeeze and roll down. And then we're just going to do the last one, lift the hips off the floor, hold it up for five, four, three, two, one, and roll it down. We're going to cross the right knee over the left knee as tight as you can get it, and then try and hook the right toes 
behind the left calf. Stretching the arms out in line with the shoulders, we're going to take the knees over to the left hand side. So you've got the eagle legs going on as pretzeled up as you can get them, really wrapped around one another. And then crossing the knees over the body, stretching probably into the glute, hopefully into the lower back and right across that right shoulder as it stays connected to the floor. Gaze can go over the right hand side. And release, coming up to center, untwisting the legs, place the right foot on the floor, left knee crosses over right knee, and then tuck the left toes behind the right calf, and drop both knees over to the right hand side. Really using those knees to help pull one another down to the floor. Coming up to center, unhooking the feet, placing both feet on the outside edges of the mat. Heels as close towards your bum as you can get them. Both knees drop over to the left hand side, left foot places on top of right knee, squeezing the knees down to the ground, tightening the tummy to pull the lower back to the floor. Release the foot, draw the knees up, adjust the lower back, bring the heels in towards the hips and as wide as the mat and we take both knees over to the right hand side, right foot places on top of left knee, squeezing the tummy tight, drawing the knees down to the ground. Shoulders are still connected to the floor. And release the foot, lifting the knees up to center. Bring your right knee in towards your chest. Interlace the fingers. Left leg up towards the ceiling. Rock the toes over the face and swing all the way up. Crossing the ankles and folding forwards. Working into those glutes, into those hips. Walking the hands back towards you, we cross the other ankle to the front and folding forwards. And coming back upright.